Will Sebastian here, Pro Multi Asset Day Trader. Don't forget underneath if you want to join us today live on Zoom as we are every day teaching members. The link's right there. So let's go ahead. Oil, uh, you had unfortunately uh, geopolitical tensions. It's waned. Um, it's not escalated like most people thought it would. Um, and therefore, the price has started to fall. Uh, going forward from here, I don't think the um, supply side worries you saw really um, have diminished. So I think they're still long term uh, long bias, particularly if you look at every single bump in the road, you're just being supported and supported and supported. Got to the point now where you've got a really high stock oscillator. I said I would probably hold off shorts. Um, I still maintain that bias. I think oil ultimately may get to 92 bucks or so. Don't particularly like this level for reshorts that we're at now. I don't think it holds an enormous amount of weight. And like I said, with the sentiment bias you've got, it's okay just to step out of oil entirely if you choose to. If you wanted to re-long it within these uh, moves up, I would probably do it nearer um, lower key support. Okay, so these are levels where you've got minor key price action across the board, and it would come in line with the newfound uh, midterm uptrend, if you like. Like I said, when I labeled it, you know, it comes off the back of this, but it hasn't gone on an awful amount of time. Okay, it's very tentative. But I would say the extension from 67 bucks to 87, you know, $20 or so, it's a reasonable move without any real kickback. You know, you can have something like, um, you know, this kind of decline from that point, $93, all the way down to $70 or so. So I think you're impending a minor pullback. I don't think it's going to be anything massive. And I think you may find yourself back up here later on. Um, definitely wouldn't buy at this point. It's just a bit too early. And if you're trying to sort of gamble on sentiment, if you like, that's also not a good idea because it's not entirely clear how things are going to unfold in terms of um, oil demand, if you like. There was jitters in the market over supply, which is what brought it up most recently. Okay, uh, mostly from the first week of April. If I just go to the daily, you then had sideways movement, a little bit of uncertainty. But you haven't had the fall. You haven't had a forceful drop. And that's why I said that this level um, that I'll label now, where you've got all these candle wicks, okay, is not particularly holding much downside weight. If it was, you probably wouldn't have gone through there. It looks like you're now doing that, which is why I say you may get lower. Um, but within that longer term strong sentiment, which you've got to the upside still maintained on oil, I don't think particularly you may keep going but if you do happy to scale in long further with appropriate sizes so keep an eye on the sentiment for news because it's a little bit rocky um, and trade small and trade safe on all particularly don't forget you can join us below see you soon